girl Rochelle coming to you with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve Tiffany blue and the Tiffany apple okay if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that great bell to remind you that I'm coming up with another video and to all my subbies my sweet peeps welcome to your sweet connection what's good what's popping we about to get some things going in this video. So, all right, sweet peeps, I'm going to go over the supplies that I have before you. And I already have my um, sugar. And in this video, I am going to fix the full batch. That's the full recipe of the 411. So I got four cups of sugar in this pot. Okay. I have my little spatula that I mix with my candy mixture that holds up to 480 degrees. I got my pin blade. It's a little knife here. And I got my paper sticks to go over my candy apples. Granny Smith already cleaned. I have Fantasia Fondant that I'm going to be using today. I have uh, my rolling pin. This is a rolling cutter. Carol syrup, light corn syrup. I have sky blue. When we get to the part, I'm going to show you how to achieve Tiffany blue by using sky blue and liquid white. Both colors are by Chef Masters. And I have a mold, a bow mold. That we're going to be using in this video as well along with my cup of water and one cup of light corn syrup that I'm going to add to the recipe and my silicone mat once the apple is finished and those are the applies so let's get into the video all right so let's get to mixing our ingredients in this pot medium size pot this is about a five quart pot that I'm making my mixture in and when you get a pot you want to make sure you have a heavy bottom not a thin pot because this is hot candy that will definitely give you a third degree burn but you have to be careful so getting the proper equipment to make this mixture is very important okay it doesn't matter if it's stainless steel uh, but make sure that it's a good equip pot when making candy mixture all right so what i'm going to do is add the one cup of water okay just mixing it a little bit before i add the carol syrup okay And I'm adding the one cup of light carol syrup. This is the 411 recipe. And those that is watching this video, please pay close attention of how I'm doing this mixture because this is very important when mixing all the ingredients. And I'm going to add the color at the end. Okay, so I am mixing this till it's all equally combined. And you want to set your stove on medium high heat. Medium high heat. If you have a digital stove, you can put it on between five and six. 
okay so I'm going to add my candy mixture and putting my candy thermometer on the side of the pot and this mixture will definitely cook to 300 degrees and we're going to go right into the next step of the video next step we're going to add the straws to the apple sticks that are already pierced into the apple and if you notice I have my apples turned upside down and I'm going to go ahead and apply the sticks the paper straws over the sticks okay these straws fit over these apple sticks that are a size 5.5 by 5.0 these are the only size sticks that the straws will fit over okay so you want to just firmly press down okay you don't want to go all the way to the bottom of the apple or you are going to get bubbles if you do so so as I firmly press and also when you're putting in your sticks you want to make sure that they're both leveled and even so they can all match up just in case you're doing a dessert table but you want your sticks to be even as possible on to our next step okay. we're going to create the bow that's going to go on the outside of the apple these are little custom made Tiffany apples that will go well with a Tiffany theme okay so in this little cup here I have some powdered sugar um, if you don't want to use powdered sugar you can also use uh, cornstarch but I prefer powdered sugar and I have my rolling pin so what I'm going to do is just powder my surface So that my fondant won't stick to the mat okay I'm going to powder my rolling pin okay and what you want to do when you get your fondant you just want to knead your fondant to where it all come out to be smooth okay okay and also this is a note when using find it you may want to add a product that's called CMC um, which is like Tylos Tylos powder or CMC um, applying it to your find it and just knead it to your find it it gives it a firm texture um, when you're using molds and I will do a video on using molds soon to show you how they all come about okay so I didn't need it my fondant and now I'm going to roll out some pieces Okay, so I just rolled out my find it just make sure it's not too stiff. So I'm going to take some find it. You just want to measure it out a little bit and then just applying enough to the mold. Okay, if you got too much, just break off a piece. Stick it with your other fondant and make sure you keep your fondant covered so it won't dry out. Sealed in a bag, covered until you're ready to use your pieces. Okay, so now that I done 
filled in these gaps in this mold it's a little bumpy on the outside so what you can do is either pinch off the extra or you can take the rolling pin and just roll back and forth to get a smooth surface I want that to come out okay as long as it stays in there okay if it do come out just start it over to make sure it keeps its form and any extra that is sticking out of the mold you can either push it in as so to make sure that you get the fullness of the bow and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about okay so I like to rub my finger over my piece to make sure I got a good smooth surface okay and what you want to do you can either take it out in your hand okay or you can press against your surface and just pull back okay so this is what I'm talking about when you have too much over that part there okay so what I'm going to do is just like tuck that in hide it away because I want some good presentation when I apply it to my apple okay you want to sit that to the side and you want to let your pieces to um, you want to let your pieces sit for a while um, until they're firm to go onto your candy apple. So I'm just going to do another piece. And as I stated, just enough. And then if it gets to sticking to your mold, just add some cornstarch or powder sugar pop it out of there and see when you get to this point and if you feel you got too much just pinch off some and then work the rest in hands getting sticky if it feels like it's getting it's starting to stick to your hand just put a little powder on your hand on your fingers so that it don't stick to your hand okay and as I stated you can take your rolling pin roll it back and forth fill in them gaps it's all the way as possible to get the fullness of the mold And as I was showing you, you can turn it over and just pull back and your mold is out. These are pretty flexible. You find some that are flexible and some that you have to work out in different ways. Each mold is different. And then, as I stated, sit it to the side to get firm. And we're going to go into the next step. Now, I'm getting ready to do the lines of, like, the gift wrap of the Tiffany signature. 
you know, the white stretched lines that we normally see. So what I'm going to create is two lines. And I'm going to go ahead and knead my fondant, pressing down. And I'm going to use my roller cutter to get some good, perfect lines to cover my apples. Okay, you want to roll out enough to where you have long enough lines to cover vertically and horizontally around your apple. Okay? Taking your cutter, okay? Pressing firmly, going forward. And I just came back because it was rolling up the pin. So I'm going to take the longest piece and then I'm going to sit them over to the side. Okay? If you get the little ridges on the side of the strip, just tap with your finger like tucking it in. Okay. Because presentation is key. Presentation is very important. So as I stated, taking the longer pieces and I'm tapping in those edges. You don't have to take an exacto knife and cut off the extra because then you'll mess up your lines. You just want to make sure that they look perfect, as neat as possible. Okay, and all I did was just tapping them along the side, tapping it in. Okay. And I'm just sitting those over to the side. All right. So we're going to the next step. All right. We are at a little bit past the 250 mark. And if you would like to add flavor to your mixture, you can do so. And what I'm going to add is some mango. Now, in a full batch, you can add one full dram of the Loran oil. Okay, this is just mango flavor that I'm going to use. And you can add one dram to a full mixture, which is four cups of sugar, one cup of water, and one cup of light corn syrup. Okay. And you will see that the bubbles may tend to rise on certain flavors or oils. Um, which the oils, the flavoring is an oil. But it has to be an oil based flavoring to go into your candy mixture. Okay, also you are going to let your mixture get to 300 degrees. Okay, your mixture will turn light yellow, light brown. But if your mixture turns dark brown, then you need to either check your thermometer or you may need a new pot. 
All right, sweet gang, it is time to remove this mixture and we have reached our 300 mark. Taking it off, sitting on the silicone mat. Does not harm, but you want to remove your candy thermometer and place it in a cup of water. So, how we achieve the Tiffany Blue. Okay. So, what you need to do is add white first. Make sure it's shook up well. And I'm going to add in the Chef Master's White. This one is in a bottle, so I'm just going to pour it in so... I say you want to add at least 8 to 10 drops of the white. And as I add the, add the white in, I'm going to shake up the blue. And then add a few drops of the sky blue. Now when you add it like this, you got to pay attention to the color. Okay, you want to mix well because you still have blue in there so that it can come out. that Tiffany blue color. You have enough white in there. You do not need to add any more. And this is close. And I think we have our color. Okay. We are all set and ready to go to dip. Okay. May need to add just a few more drops. I added a little bit, two more drops. Mix still good. Make sure that your apple is completely dry. And we're going to dip. Tilting your pot to the side. And give it a nice turn. Now it's always hard to achieve that Tiffany blue. But as close as you can get it, it's good. But this is definitely one way that will work. You want to make sure you let your candy mixture drizzle off into your mixture. As much as possible, scraping the side of the pot. Placing it on the silicone mat. And I'm going to dip our second apple. They both look good. I got a lot in here, so I don't want it to spill out. Okay. These are medium sized apples, so I got a lot of mixture left. And this mixture probably can do probably four to five more apples okay being that my apples are a little large so these are some good medium sized apples 
scraping the side of the pot, placing it, and we'll be back to All decorate. Right, sweet gang. I just wanted to show you that I have dipped four apples and we still have mixture left. Okay. And we're going to get right into decorating our Tiffany apples. Now it's time to decorate. Taking one of the strips and applying it to the apple. And you want to make sure your strips is long enough to go all the way around. Okay. I didn't apply anything on the apple or on the fondant being that the apple is still warm and that will and applying the fondant to the apple will allow the fondant to stick and stay. Okay. Taking the other strip Bring it across. Going over the top as so. Make sure that it's lined up how you want it. And then you can just pinch off the extra. Okay. Now for your bow. You can either add don't want that to get stuck to the apple some candy mixture or you can add some water to your fondant. I'm gonna just put some quick dry. Just a dab, not too much. And you can turn it sideways, however you like. And apply it to your apple. Now you can either apply it to the fondant or apply it to your apple. Okay, and just doing one more. Taking the strip. Now, if it don't stick, then you just want to lightly dab some water along the strip. Okay, taking your other piece. going down the back and remember to line it up first and make sure you don't touch the apple because once it touched the apple then it's going to stick okay so make sure you have your lines in position and how you want it to go dab a little bit of more water on the bow and I'm actually putting my bow on the apple instead of the fondant so it can stick better. So I don't have to add too much extra or not even chocolate. Now you can either melt some chocolate and put it on the back of your bow. Or you can just apply it with a little dab of water on the back. All right. And there you have your Tiffany candy apples. All right. If you have enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you enjoyed the video and what you would like to see in the near future. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay connected with your girl, Ro. And I will definitely see you all in the